That crash involves six vehicles total, including a dump truck. The Wisconsin State Patrol says one person died and two others were taken to the hospital, one with life-threatening injuries. News 8's Kyle Dimke is live near the scene of the crash. He joins us now with more. Kyle? Guys, right behind me is where the fiery crash took place earlier this morning. Uh, excuse me, as you can see, if you can see behind me, this is a construction zone, so it's down to one lane. And the Wisconsin State Patrol says slowing traffic in this construction zone looks to be the leading cause of the accident. Now, a lot of, there were a lot of emergency responders on scene today, including one you may not know about. Not many know about them. They're a group of volunteers, and they're known as the Mass Casualty Team. At approximately 7.45 this morning, eastbound traffic was slowing down near exit 2, uh, most likely due to merging traffic into the construction zone. An eastbound dump truck was unable to stop and rear-ended one vehicle and it turned into a six-vehicle crash. Chain reaction. After arriving on scene today, emergency response crews realized they needed more help, so they called in the La Crosse County Mass Casualty Team. It's a group of people who can come to a disaster scene and just provide extra assistance. Emergency management coordinator for the county says this team of 20 or so volunteers come from all over the county. Farmington, from on Alaska, town of Campbell, town of Shelby, West Salem. And need to be ready at a moment's notice. And when we page them out for an incident, they respond from their work or from their home just like any other emergency responder would. The mass casualty team is made up of mostly emergency responders. The team has four trailers spread throughout La Crosse County carrying extra emergency supplies. Plus two support trailers with equipment that the team needs. The generators, the lights, and those kinds of things. So a total of six trailers spread out around La Crosse County ready at a moment's notice. It doesn't really matter what kind of circumstance that's needed. We call them the, the mass casualty uh, team, but it's really for any kind of emergency that just needs extra help, they've got it. In terms of the accident, the Wisconsin State Patrol says there is an ongoing investigation, although they are pretty confident they already know what happened. Guys, back to you in the studio. All right, thanks a lot, Kyle, for that update. And the interstate was closed in both directions this morning for quite some time. All lanes, though, were open back up around 1 o'clock this afternoon.